to my live cooking, my first ever live cooking. So I'm Rhonda Kelly from Rhonda's Readings on YouTube and from my Facebook group Rhonda's Readings and Rocks. So thank you very much for joining me. I am really excited that people actually participated and suggested ingredients to do my live. Uh, so basically I've, I have a range of ingredients. Uh, Willow is the first person who suggested beans. So I've actually got edanami, which are broad beans. She also suggested a second ingredient, which was wattle seed. I had a look, I couldn't find any wattle seed. <laughs> so I have actually seen wattle seed products in sort of like um, boutique or gift shops. You know, when, you know when you do sort of road trips and you have sort of indigenous art galleries or indigenous ingredients, that sort of thing. So I have actually seen wattle seed in shops, but I couldn't actually see it in Coles or Woolworths. So, um, Willow, I've stuck to your original ingredient. I've got broad beans. <laughs> so there you go. I've also, my suggestion was red onion. So I've actually got red onion. And I just, for the sake of, um, hi Leanne, thanks for watching. I can see you here. I think I've just made things go blurry. Okay, so I've literally just prepared some ingredients early. So we're not going too long today. So I've just chopped up some red onion. So that was my suggestion. Um, I've also got, okay, my screen's gone blank. It's okay. Okay, so I've also got Alex who suggested avocado. So Alex, I've actually just chopped up some avocado here. So thank you for that. That was probably the most interesting, um, <laughs> interesting ingredient to incorporate. Um, so let me know, if, hi Beck, thanks for watching. Let me know if you can um, get an idea of what I'm going to cook with the ingredients. So I've got avocado, red onion, um, beans. Gwenny, Gwen has suggested garlic, gherkins or ginger. So I've actually gone with the first one, garlic. Um, gherkins would have been an interesting one. I, I, I would have done a fermentation or something like that. Um, or ginger, maybe an Asian dish. But as you'll see from my cooking on Rhonda's Readings on my YouTube channel, I've got lots of lots of ginger and Asian inspired recipes. So obviously um, every Friday I do a cooking vlog. This one's a little bit different because I'm doing a live. So I've got garlic from her suggestion. I've got garlic in two ways. So I've literally just used the garlic um, head and I've just sliced it up. So what I'm gonna do is fry that and incorporate that in my dish. If you have a look at my upcoming dips recipe vlog, what I actually did with garlic was I roasted it. That actually takes about an hour and a half at 150 degrees and you can infuse that with chili or that sort of thing. So I didn't have time for that just in preparing for this. So I've literally chopped up some garlic. I've also got some garlic butter. Um, so it's literally just butter mixed with a packet of garlic one. And an ingredient I've added is just bread. So I've actually just chopped up a little, um, a little Turkish loaf and I'm going to make obviously garlic bread. So Hopefully that's giving you a clue of what I'm actually going to make. <laughs> Hi there, Kylie, and thanks for watching. Okay, Malvina Frogs suggested mango. So that was a really interesting one because I wasn't really sure what to put. So what I've done, I've actually just kind of cheated. <laughs> and the only mango thing I could find was mango and passion fruit chocolate. So that's going to be the, the dessert for my <laughs> meal. So I have included it, but that's a little bit of a cheat. Um, Someone suggested also chili. Who was who invested? No, I can't actually say who suggested chili. Um, I've literally just got a packet of chilies. Um, the rule of thumb for chilies is that the small ones are the hotter ones. And since I don't have a big toler or great tolerance for hot chilies, I've just chopped up one little one and I'm just going to fry that with the garlic towards the end. Um, also with the red onion, I've also added some spring onions as well. Just that's just a personal personal preference and we have lots of them so I'm using that and then they do fry up really well. Um, so that's basically the ingredients. Oh also someone suggest Paula suggested pasta. So the pasta that we're using is just this. It's just an egg fettuccine. Um, what I also have had suggested by Sylvia before is Sylvia I used to work at Maya with so <laughs> and we used to work in the food court so how um, how cool is it that I'm doing a cooking vlog with an ingredient suggested by Sylvia? Um, I've actually just got spinach. So I'm incorporating all of that. 
can anyone suggest what I'm making with those ingredients? I'm sure you can. It's pretty obvious I'm making garlic bread to go with lunch. Oh, maybe there's a bit of a delay. Hi, Jane. Thanks for watching. So I'm basically making a pasta dish. That's that's what I'm doing. Um, so what I'm doing first off, so obviously I've prepared the ingredients. I've just got the spinach I'm actually using and I'm just going to blanch it. So I am going to keep it, um, but I'm just, I'm just boiling the kettle. I am just going to blanch it and I'm going to let that flavour infuse in the water when I cook the pasta. Um, and I'm also going to use the spinach in the end recipe. So um, I've got the garlic, chilli, red onion, spring onions I'm going to put with the with the pasta sauce basically. I'm going to sort of fry it up a bit. But I'm just blanching the spinach now. So I've actually just got a little, um, you can see what I've got there. I've just got my pasta going here and my spinach here. And all I'm going to do is just start blanching the spinach. So just filling it up. So this one really doesn't take long at all. So that's it just here. Um, so I've literally just put boiling water in that and then I'm just boiling it a bit. Um, it doesn't take long at all and it, the idea is just to blanch it to get that spinach sort of flavour. Yeah, Beck, absolutely. I'm making pasta. <laughs> um, oh, another ingredient I also have is just some sun-dried tomato pesto. Um, I absolutely love basil pesto. It's it's something I don't make that often and it's also one of those things that's sometimes difficult to buy a basil pesto that tastes really good. Um, but when I do make it, I either make it with um, what are little pine nuts or even macadamia nuts or cashews or something like that. Um, just to, I try different things at different times. But it does use a lot of basil. We actually grow basil not very well because <laughs> we live near the beach and it's quite windy and things don't seem to last that long um, but if you do grow your own basil um, feel free to give it give me some <laughs> um, or just um, make your own pesto with it and let me know how you go but I'm just trying something a bit different sun-dried tomato pesto because I don't want to make a really garlic so I don't want to make a really tomatoey sauce with the pasta because I'm adding veggies and it's a little bit different so I thought sun-dried tomato will be something that's interesting um, and will hopefully complement the flavours. So just just blanching that spinach now, so it's looking looking fine. I'll just leave it a little bit longer. Um, just fill up the kettle again. So this recipe I'm literally just making with the ingredients I've been suggested. There are actually websites you can look on if you just Google um, choose a recipe based on ingredients. You can actually just type in or click ingredients that you've got and they'll make recipe suggestions for you. So you can even do that sort of thing. Um, so pasta is something we wouldn't normally eat for lunch because it's quite a heavy sort of thing, but like we'd normally have a salad or something like for lunch. Hi Cara, thanks for watching. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely Beck. Are you still on the Central Coast by the way Beck? I don't know, even know where you're um, located. But I'm, I'm based in Sydney. Um, I've got a friend in the Central Coast, Rachel, and I did a cooking vlog with her recently. We made butter chicken. So that was, I think, about a month ago. Um, but yeah, if anyone would like to do a cooking vlog with me, or even a spiritual vlog with me, um, feel feel free, like, just, just contact me. Because um, it's always interesting. I find with cooking with different people, you cook something a bit different that you're not normally used to. Um, and it's always interesting what you actually what you actually find. Okay, so that spinach is, is looking fine. Um, what I'm going to do now is start taking the spinach out. So I've literally just got a little bowl and thingy, whatever this thing is called, let me know if you know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just blanching the spinach and what I want to do is add the spinach to the final dish. But I also want to use the water that I've used to blanch it and I'm just going to add that to the pasta one. And then I'm literally just going to um, sort of infuse the spinach flavour in the pasta that I've cooked um, and having the spinach separate. Okay, so that's the spinach just coming out like that. Um, spinach is one of those things also you can, you can do, um, you can literally make spinach pasta. We've actually done that and we've, we've made 
And with the pasta we've made, we've cooked it as pasta or we've cooked it as little dumplings as well. Okay, so that's my blanched spinach coming out of it. Um, what I'm going to do is use that water, so I'm just going to swap and put my fry pan ready to go. And now I'm just, I'm literally tipping that water, literally tipping that water into the pasta just there. Um, it's a little bit of spinach there, but that's okay. So I'm going to add some more water, obviously, to cover it. Um, but you can, you can sort of see the idea of what I'm doing is just I'm having a bit of spinach, spinach water. Yeah, I'm literally cooking the pasta in a bit of spinach water. So that takes about eight minutes, this pasta. Um, so it's not that long. And just making sure it's all covered. Okay, there we go. So that's our pasta cooking. Um, what I'm gonna do also is, um, before I start frying the ingredients, I'm just gonna start preparing the garlic bread. So I've literally got little breads and I'm just going to, I've made my mixture of um, garlic butter. <laughs> Don't think you can see, that's a bit better. Okay, so I'm just going to start um, start buttering the bread basically and then I'll put that in the grill. Okay, so I've got my spinach infused water that I'm cooking my pasta with and I've kept the spinach to add to the final dish. Um, now I'm doing literally a little garlic. I've literally got the garlic and butter and I'm just buttering that ready to put in the griller. And before you say, I know my griller is really dirty, we keep cleaning it and washing out the dishes and it <laughs> we use it so much. So um, if you get a comment on that, that's fine, I already know it. <laughs> okay, so I've actually got made probably a bit too much garlic butter, but that's quite a lot of bread just for two people. Hi Angel, how are you going? Thanks for watching, have you? I'm making pasta. I did a couple of posts on my Facebook group asking for ingredients and I had a whole range of interesting ingredients <laughs> and the safest thing I thought of making was pasta so I can incorporate the ingredients. So um, just to let you know I've got someone suggested beans so I've got edanami the the broad beans you'd buy in a, or you'd eat in a Japanese restaurant. Um, someone suggested avocado Someone suggested red, oh, I suggested red onions because I've got lots of them. <laughs> um, so that's that's what I suggested. Um, so I've got I've got garlic in slices that I've just sliced up. Um, garlic butter I've made. Someone also suggested chili, so I've got that. Um, I also added spring onions with the red onions, just again, so I've got lots. <laughs> I've got the texture. Um, also had a suggestion of spinach and pasta so for the spinach I've actually just blanched the spinach so that's the spinach blanched here if you can see that and I've used the water to I've used the wa water to um, cook the pasta so it's kind of trying to complement the flavor so in infuse the spinach with the pasta as well as adding the spinach later on so that's what I'm doing Okay, so the bread's buttered. I'm just going to put that in the grill. I won't. Oh, it's a bit hot. <laughs> I won't start that just yet, but that's ready to go when I want to start cooking that. So I'm literally just putting it in the grill behind me. So that's all done basically. Okay, so that's the garlic bread. Um, what I'm going to start doing is start frying off my ingredients ready to put in a pasta. So I've literally just got some canola spray oil. Um, you can use anything you want. We actually we, have, we do actually have some chili oil. I might use that actually. We did make some chili oil. I've got a future vlog coming up on how we did that. So what I'm going to do is add some chili oil to that as well. Um, mm -hmm. Just because we've got it. Maybe it's a bit too much. <laughs> it's one of those things, it's sort of really, the way we make it, it's very subtle, but it does have a bit of a kick when you, when you put that on. So I've got that, uh, I've just got that, that pan heating up and I'm going to start cooking my ingredients to go on the pasta. Um, another thing we have actually is um, Spring Valley Spices Veggie Seasoning. 
that's another thing I can actually add to the bread. Um, so I've just got the bread just in a griller. Um, I don't usually use too much of it because it is quite salty. Um, but it's it's actually okay. It's sort of so I'm literally just sprinkling. I've li literally had tiny little um, fingerful, <laughs> and I'm just putting that on. So that's another ingredient I'm adding. Okay, so I just got that heating up a bit. I've got my pasta cooking just in there, if you can see that there. Um, I didn't actually check the time I put it on, so that was a bit silly. Okay, so that's my, my pan heating up. And I'm going to start adding the other ingredients. So I've got some garlic, so our house is going to stink. So I remember I would have preferred to um, bake that, but I just didn't have time. So I literally got some garlic um, frying off in the chili oil. So I'll just leave that for a little bit. Okay, I've also got some red onions that I've chopped up, so I'll cook that as well. I love these little containers by the way, they're so awesome when I make cooking vlogs. So I've literally got my garlic sliced and my red onions cooking. Well, so my pasta's also cooking, just there. <laughs> um, I've got a few little leaves of spinach there that I obviously didn't drain properly, but that's, that's okay because I'm going to add the spinach anyway. It's, it was more just to infuse it a little bit. So remember you can make spinach pasta or spinach, pa sorry, spinach pastry. So with the pastry you can, um, you can catch it up, you can cut it up and ha use it as dumpling wrappers. So we've actually made spinach dumplings. Um, and it's one of those things that dumplings, we normally sort of make little pot stickers and they actually don't taste nice as pot stickers, which is really weird, but in sort of like the more oval shaped um, ones, they're actually pretty nice. Okay, so that's cooking, just do a little bit more spray. Okay, so that's my garlic and red onions cooking. Also going to add my spring onions. Um, you could also sort of like add a stock or something if you wanted, but like just to make that infuse. I like mushroom stock. Actually, I didn't even add mushrooms. That would have been good actually. Maybe I'll do so. And I've also got my red chilli as well, so just putting that in. Hi Celeste, hi Linda, got a few more people watching. Yeah, I will actually add some mushrooms, so I'm just going to add some more oil and take that off the heat a bit while I now chop up some mushrooms. So just bear with me, I'm just going to cut up some mushrooms, I just thought of that. Okay, so I've got some mushrooms and I'll just add, say, say four of them, I'll just chop that up. So that's actually going to be, that mushrooms are always nice in pasta. Um, so there was no sort of, I, I literally asked people for recipe ingredient ideas. I didn't say that I was only going to cook with those ingredients, so that's why I'm adding more. And obviously with recipes, you've got to sort of add things that are going to complement that anyway. Um, the reason why I'm adding mushrooms is because I always go great with, with, um, with pasta. Um, I'll just turn the camera a bit. Yeah, they always go great with pasta, but um, it's also sort of like, just because I've added chili and things like that that are probably going to be a bit hot, I thought this will sort of help soften those flavors a bit. Um, okay, so what, let me know, um, so let me know who, what you like to cook in pasta recipes. Okay, just seeing a, a note from Beck. Hi, Ron, we'll catch up rest of... Oh, now you're hungry. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Likewise, send me hugs, Beck. Beck, I read for in the August, I think it was August or may, may have even been December PTV show. And I, I've got a link to that when I, the, for the reading I did. So just um, doing that one. So I'll just add a couple more mushrooms. Well, 
Another thing we like to cook with is shiitake mushrooms in dumplings. Um, they're the ones that you get in Asian shops and they're always sort of like freeze, not freeze dried, but they're dehydrated. So you've got to put them in water and rehydrate them. And the water that you rehydrate them in, you can actually use, you literally add that to um, recipes. It's, it's really pretty cool. Um, like it actually just, I, I like the idea of like whatever you're using for flavour, just sort of adding to that so that you're infusing the flavour. Okay, so that's my mushroom, chilli, red onion and spring onion sort of fried up together. So I'm going to have that with the pasta, obviously. So the pasta's probably cooked now. Um, what I'm also going to do is turn the griller on. So I'm just going to start cooking the little breads. So remember, I put them in ready to go. Okay, so I might actually try a little bit. I might try a little bit of the pasta. I'm sure it's fine, but I just want to try it so that I can. Now it's going to be difficult to get out. <laughs> So, okay, it's a bit hot. Okay, I might use tongs. <laughs> so it only happens during a live. Okay, now <coughs> the garlic smell is kind of taking my breath away. I'm actually going to um, turn that down a bit. So I've just got some pasta that I'm going to cook. I'm going to taste. Mm -hmm. That tastes good. Okay, so I can turn these two off. Um, <coughs> excuse me, it's really, um, yeah. Oh, it's probably the garlic bread actually that's smelling a lot more garlic. So that's the garlic bread that I've got just grilling there. Okay, so in case you haven't guessed, in case you've joined me just recently, I'm, I'm not seeing the names, I've just seen the numbers. Um, welcome. <laughs> I'm obviously doing a live cooking vlog because it's just something a bit different. Um, as you know from my cooking vlogs on fr every Friday on Facebook Rhonda's Readings and Rocks and YouTube Rhonda's Readings, I generally cook Italian based dishes or Asian based dishes. Um, I haven't actually done a pasta before, excuse me, um, until today. <laughs> Alright, so that's looking good. What I'm going to do is drain that pasta. So I'm going to drain the pasta now. So I've just got the pasta that's cooked. So this is the pasta that I've cooked with some spinach infused water and I'm just going to drain that. Okay. And what I'm also going to do So this is the pasta here. So I'm just going to, so this, this pan is not hot. What I'm also going to do, I've just got the edamame, so I've got to cook those. So I'll take that off the heat and boil the kettle again. So I almost forgot that last ingredient. <laughs> um, what I'm also going to do is put some sun-dried tomato um, pesto and sort of stir that through the pasta. And for my, I'm actually going to use this, I'm just going to pop that there. I'm actually going to use this pan, this um, saucepan to cook the egg and as well. Oh, and they're actually, okay. I thought these were beans, but they're, <laughs> they are broad beans. I thought they were shelled, but they're not. So instead of putting them in the pasta, I'm just going to have it as a side dish because um, it'll be quicker to do that than shell the beans. <laughs> okay, so I just cooked those ones. So literally they're just um, a packet that we keep in the freezer. And literally just going to use that to um, use that to sort of 
um, bring to life and just have it as a side dish. Okay, so I've got my cooked pasta now. I'm going to add some sun-dried tomato pesto and I'm just going to sort of mix that through. Um, so that's all I'm doing with this one. So that's, um, that's just adding a bit of flavour to that. Um, you obviously don't need to add too much. Um, I might just add a little bit more there. There we go. Okay, so that's using about that much of that. Oh, and also with the spinach, it was a 280 gram, the spinach, amount of spinach I used, it was a 280 gram packet, so I probably used just over 100 grams of that. Um, so this is my pasta, literally got that there. Um, what I'm also going to do with the pasta is, um, I'm going to sort of pop that to, oh, I'm going to add these ingredients to it as well. So these are the fried ingredients I use to add to the pasta. Just going to pop that in like that and then just mix that through. Okay, so that's my fried red onions, spring onions, garlic, chili and mushrooms. Alright, so just about finished actually. This is my finished product of my pasta. If you can see that. So just going to start dishing that out. So I'm dishing out two suggestions, two um, servings actually, for my husband and I. So literally dishing that out. So it's a lot of pasta. It's actually really big for a lunch. Whoops, that's a big serving. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're having a, a big lunch today. <laughs> okay, so that's our pasta. What I've also got is the um, spinach that I cooked. So what I'm also going to do is add spinach to each one. actually add cheese and the rest of it I tend to not add much cheese um, to something unless I'm making a meaty pasta um, so I've just added cheese to my pastas I've also got the avocado suggested by Alex <laughs> so I'm going to just sort of um, pop that on each dish as well so it's a little unusual having avocado with pasta but someone suggested it and we both like avocado so <laughs> thought we'll just add it Okay, so that's our dishes. Um, we cook. We have we have edamame cooking as a bit of a side dish, and that's literally these ones just here. If you can see that, and I've got the little breads that I've cooked. Um, so it's a little bit hot, a um, little bit overcooked. So I'm just going to try that. Mmm, that's pretty yummy. So that's really good. So that's a serving suggestion just with some breads and I'll also put some edanamis on the plate. But that's basically it. I'll also, um, also try the pasta. So this one is mine. So we've got pasta infused with spinach water, sun-dried pesto, added fried garlic, red onions, spring onions and mushrooms and chilies. Um, we've also used some chilli oil that you'll see made in a, another vlog. It's basically the, the vlog where you'll see chilli oil made is the second version of pork tonkotsu soup. So we made that and added chilli to it. But let's try the pasta Here's the, for the tasting. So that's the pasta. Mmm. That's beautiful. That's, um... Certainly got a chili kick. It's it's probably the upper limit of what I can tolerate. <laughs> I do actually really like it because there's other tastes. So this is one of just tasting with a bit of avocado and spinach as well. 
Mm. That's really tasty. It's really nice. It's nice. Um, so Willow was the first person who suggested um, a vegetarian dish. She suggested beans. So that's why I've got the Edinamon cookie. Um, but yeah, it's a vegetarian dish. It's beautiful. Um, so you don't need sort of like a heavy tomato sauce or anything like that because you want to taste the veggies. And I've also got the bread that I've made with garlic paste and butter and um, vegetable seasoning. Mm. That's beautiful. So, finish eating. <laughs> Never talk with your mouth full, hey? So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I just thought of doing the cooking live because it's something a bit different. Um, it probably took a little while longer than I thought, but that's okay. Another serving suggestion is a bottle of red or Lambrusco or something like that. Um, probably not going to have that now because it's lunchtime, not dinner. <laughs> um, but that's certainly a serving suggestion you can have when you have pasta. Hi Grace, I hope you're well. So Grace, this is what I've cooked. I've With the ingredients suggested by you guys, I've got pasta, egg fettuccine, infused with chili, chili oil, garlic, red tomato, yeah, red onions, um, spring onions, and I've also made some little, little breads with um, veggie seasoning and garlic paste and butter, and I've infused that with spinach, and I've also cooked broad beans ready to go. So when, once you've cooked the broad beans as well, um, if it was just the separate beans, I would have put those sprinkle those on the um, on the pasta rather than cheese but since they're the um, actual pods I'm just having that separate as a separate meal so that's that's what we're doing so uh, my husband and I are about to go and eat lunch <laughs> so thank you so much for watching um, please like the video please share with your friends stay tuned for future recipe videos on Fridays hi Mal thanks for watching um, I hope to do, so Grace is watching, I hope to do a recipe with Grace coming up um, and making a Polish dish. So if you've got any recipe ideas that are something different than what I've cooked, I'd love to either cook with you or um, get that suggestion from you. Um, but there you go, I'm Rhonda Kelly, a psychic medium, I'm the cooking psychic, <laughs> doing recipes on Friday. Um, I started doing this playlist just because um, everyone had social isolation, so I thought it's... Um, encouraging people to eat healthy and that sort of thing and and hopefully alleviate some boredom and get to watch me cook um, but yeah my first live so let me know what you think let me know if you'd like to see more of them um, and please subscribe to my youtube channel Rhonda's Readings and I'll also post this on my twitter at Rhonda Psychic at, at Psychic Rhonda sorry and also my instagram at Rhonda Psychic Rhonda Kelly all right but thank you for watching bye